Hey everybody, Pastor Matt here. Uh, so good to have you here today joining us on day 30 in our daily challenges. Um, just want to let you know we love you guys so much and we miss you. We miss seeing your faces. We miss uh, shaking your hands. We miss the hugs. We miss it all. And we can't wait for this uh, shelter in place and social distancing thing to, to, uh, to be done with, right? So we can get back to worshiping together um, in our churches and just fellowshipping and uh, having a great time. Oh, um, weird, right? That those words shelter in place and social distancing, how we, uh, you know, we've grown up learning all different words in school, all different types of vocabulary. But now those are part of our vocabularies, right? These new words shelter in place and social distancing. Um, we never thought we'd be um, having to make up words to define a situation or define a circumstance that we're currently in. And what a time it is, right? A time where we're a little uncertain about what's going on, about uh, what's going to happen, uh, what tomorrow's going to bring. Um, you know, every time we go to a grocery store or to Walmart or uh, wondering, you know, what's going to happen? Are we, are we going to be okay when we come home? So there's lots of things that probably go through our minds as we are dealing with this current circumstance. And so my, my biggest challenge here today, actually, it's kind of more of a just, uh, of a couple things to think about today, uh, myself in, included in all this, is you know how do we navigate this situation um, or these new circumstances that we're in? You know, again, it's not something we're all used to. Even as pastors, you know, we're still trying to figure out how to do this online church thing and how to continue to do church um, in a way that's going to be effective and uh, continuing to touch hearts and touch lives as as what we are called to do. So there's kind of just four things I want us to think about today. Uh, not so much of a challenge, just just think today. But uh, number one, are you prioritizing your time with God? That's what I want to know. Um, and I want you to know that as well. Um, are you setting time daily? And I mean, of course, now is a, a better time than ever because um, having so much more time on our hands probably. But uh, are you prioritizing your time with God? Are you, are you diving into his word? Are you praying and, and uh, just seeking his face more than ever. And I pray that's what you're doing, that that's something that's uh, your number one priority each and every day. And number two, are you being grateful? Uh, man, it's so easy right now to focus on uh, the, the negative, right? And all the things that aren't happening in our lives, the, the things we're missing, all the challenges that we got going on, the fact that we can't do this or we can't do that or we can't go to this store, uh, we can't go eat at this restaurant, uh, we can't go to this park and hang out. Are you focusing more on though, what I mean? What are you grateful for, rather than what you're what uh, we don't have? The things we don't have, the things that uh, are missing in our lives right now. What are you grateful for? What you do have right now? Number three, are you plugged into a church online? I pray that you guys are. Uh, we'd love it if you guys are joining us each and every week at Rolling Hills Community Church online uh, through Facebook or YouTube. But if not, I pray that you are finding somewhere where you are still able to worship each and every week. Uh, each and every Sunday, maybe on a Wednesday as well, if there's some that are doing that. Uh, we do want you to uh, be plugged into a church and just to be worshiping God each and every week and getting fed by his word. So uh, that's my number three question. Number four, are you staying connected? That's the big thing. Uh, right now, again, as, as I've mentioned probably many times through these videos, it's really easy for us to just um, kind of hermit up, right, and, and, and seclude ourselves and, and get lost in our worry and our anxiety and um, our introvertedness. Uh, but are we are we shutting down? Are we shutting people out and just kind of locking ourselves away from everybody? So my prayer is that you are not uh, doing that, that you are staying connected with people, that you are talking, that you are texting, that you are making phone calls, that you are emailing, whatever it is uh, you can do to stay connected to people. I pray that you do that because that is a huge part of of us making it through this and us uh, moving forward and keeping our sanity, right? Just uh, having those conversations with people. So um, yeah, that's the thing that social distancing doesn't apply to our phones and to our, uh, uh, to our, our videos, right? To the to people we talk to uh, via um, Facebook or via uh, Zoom or however we want to do it. Uh, it doesn't apply to that. So, you know, again, uh, stay connected to people. Keep talking. Uh, keep sharing your heart. Share your struggles. And uh, let's just continue to be the body of Christ like we, uh, like we are, like we've been called to be. Um, this distancing doesn't stop us from doing that. We still have the technology and the capabilities to do that. So I pray that you are continuing uh, to do that, um, and not just for yourself, but for the ones that you love as well. You know, it's easy right now, again, to lose heart and give in to the fear and anxiety and the worry that, um, that's so rampant right now because a lot of people are just wondering what's going on. You know, but Psalm 56.3 says, you know, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. When I am afraid, 
I put my trust in you. So that's my prayer for you today and my hope that that's what you are doing, that you are putting your faith and your trust in our, in our living God, our creator. You know, I pray that your relationship with God actually grows stronger as you make a choice uh, to walk in faith uh, during these times of uncertainty. If that's going to be my challenge, that's what it's going to be today. I pray that your, you know, your relationship with God just grows as you choose to walk in faith in times of uncertainty. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to worship with you this weekend. God bless you.